cute little bunny cakes cooked in ice cream cones. Let's see what's cooking. Let's get the facts. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for yo yo max 12. Hello everyone. For those of you that watch a lot of my videos, this is going to look a little familiar. This is the same beginning as I used in my push pops video with the bunnies a few days ago. For this recipe, you're going to need some white cake. Now I'm using a boxed mix, but you can also use a from scratch recipe for the batter. Divide the batter up into three different portions and tint it to whatever colors you'd like. I'm using purple, green, and pink because they are spring-like and I was making this around Easter time. And then I poured the batter into some Ziploc bags. This is gonna make it a little bit easier to pipe into the ice cream cones. But you don't have to do this, you could just use a spoon. Now we're going to put this batter into these ice cream cones. These are those smaller flat bottom cones. I bought these at my local grocery store and they actually sell them uh, in a package with a bunch of different colors. Now if you notice on the outside of the cone you have the bottom of the cone and then it flares up and on the inside you can see the ridge where it flares up and then you see the top of the cone. Now the trick is with these is to only fill it with enough batter so that you get halfway between where it starts to flare and the top of the cone. So what I did is I put a little bit of each color into each cone until I reached a point in the cone that I knew I had to stop. So here you can see where I stopped putting batter and there's still about a quarter of an inch until it reaches the top edge of the cone. Now if you overfill these, all that's going to happen is it's going to bake, it's going to puff up, and then it might flow over the edge of the cone, and they'll look a little bit messy when you're done. That's all that will happen if you overfill them. When in doubt, underfill them a little bit, and you should be fine. Now I took a skewer because I wanted to try to mix up the colors a little bit to get like a tie-dye effect. It didn't work so great. The colors didn't, didn't really mix very much. So really don't even bother doing that. It was just an experiment. There they are baked 350 for about 15 minutes or so. They cooked pretty quickly actually until a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean. And you can see they rose right up but did not flow over the side. So it worked out perfectly. Now using a piping tip or even just a butter knife, spread some of that frosting on top of each one. Then you're gonna take a large marshmallow and cut it on the diagonal from corner to corner and you will end up with two shapes that look like this, that look a lot like bunny ears. You dip the cut part into some colored sugar. And I chose pink because the insides of bunny ears are often pink. And I pressed it into the frosting. Now you don't have to use a frosting tip. And you can also change the color of your frosting to whatever you'd like as well. Some little candy eyes. And I pressed a little pink jelly bean for the nose. And that is a completed bunny. So it's a great way to serve cake and frosting for Easter. Cute little bunny. The kids can most certainly help you with this. It's very, very simple. And I think they look great. And I think they look even better if you could use a bunch of different colors of frosting. And I know in certain places you can get different colored large marshmallows as well. And here is an inside view. You can see the different colors of cake. And no, the cone will not burn. It does get a little bit brown, as you can see right at the bottom. It gets a little bit brown, but the cone stays almost perfectly the same right through the baking and afterwards. And those are the finished bunnies. Hope you give these a try. Here is another bunny related video that I made last year. It's Easter bread bunnies. This is a little bit more complicated to make than these little simple cupcakes, but they're also very fun to do and the end result is really, really nice. I will also include a link on your screen and in the description box below of my Easter playlist. So you may want to go check that out for some more Easter ideas. Thanks for watching.